By 1775, tensions had been building up between the American colonies and the British authorities. After the French and Indian War ended, it brought new territories and power to the crown and also led to higher taxes, like the Stamp Act of 1765 and the Townsend Act of 1776 and the Tea Act of 1773. The British taxed the American colonies so bad to where it sparked outrage and was met by lots of protests throughout the colonies for days demanding that they had the same rights as the British people. Things later quickly turned violent in 1770 when British soldiers fired on the American colonists, killing five men in what was known as the Boston Massacre. In 1773, a bunch of Bostoners dressed in disguise secretly snuck on aboard Boston ships and threw overboard 342 chests of tea into the Boston Harbor. It was known as the Boston Tea Party. A mad and upset Britain had a series of measures like the Corruptious Act to bring authority in Massachusetts. In response, all of the colonists came together like George Washington and met in Philadelphia to talk about their issue with Great Britain. At first, the colonists did not want their independence. They wanted lower taxes and the British Army to not occupy the colonies without their consent and issue a declaration of rights like life, liberty, property, and assembly and tried by a jury and sent it to Great Britain. They all voted to meet again in May of 1775, but then hundreds of British soldiers marched from Boston to Concord, Massachusetts to try to seize weapons, but a man named Paul Revere and others sound the alarm and the colonist military began to mobilize and intercept the Redcoats. On April 19th, the military clashed with the British soldiers in the Battle of Lexington and Concord in Massachusetts. They called this the shot heard round the world that really started the Revolutionary War. Hope you liked this video. For more content, please like and subscribe.